Hey guys, I hope y'all are having a wonderful day today and welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna be doing this minimal fall everyday makeup look using a full face of Merit Beauty products. So we're gonna be focusing on Merit Beauty's base set. So that includes their foundation stick, their foundation brush, and their new bronzer bombs. I am so excited to try these out. But I'm gonna be using a bunch of other Merit products in today's look. So I'll show y'all how I used all of them to come up with the look. But before we get started, I wanna give a a big shout out and a big thank you to Merit Beauty for sponsoring today's video. Okay y'all let's jump right into it. So Merit Beauty is a high-end minimal makeup brand so you can get their products on their website or at Sephora stores or on Sephora.com. So I will have an affiliate link in the description box if you want to check out any of the products that I'm talking about today. So we're going to start off with their base set. So the base set includes their complexion stick, their foundation brush, and one of their bronzer bombs. So if you get this this trio package it'll retail for $88 and that's going to be $10 cheaper than buying these products individually so let's start off with their perfecting complexion stick and I'm going to be using two shades of these so my foundation shade is amber so this particular product is I think it's kind of like a skin tint in stick form so it's not meant to give you full coverage because this entire brand is really like um, into the minimal makeup look, more like enhancing your own skin. So we're gonna get light to maybe medium coverage with this. So I'm just gonna start off by blending it out on my cheek so you guys can see how it'll just like even out the skin tone. And I will show you how it kind of builds up in just a little bit, so. You can see on this side versus no foundation over here how it just like evened everything out. And while I'm blending this out, so like I said, I do have the link down below if you wanna check out any of their products. They do offer free shipping on anything, $40 and over. And regardless of how much you spend with your first purchase, you do get a nice signature bag. So I'm not sure if they change out the colors of the bag here and there, but I have this one and I also have a black one. So you will get that. It'll ship for free with your purchase no matter how much you spend, but your entire purchase would ship for free if you spend $40 or more so this is what one layer of the perfecting complexion stick looks like and just so that you can see I am going to put a little bit more on the cheek area just so that you guys can see how it builds up so it will give you a little more coverage with the second layer but again it's meant to be a minimal look so it's not going to give you full coverage this particular brush that I'm using this is their brush number one this brush, I could not put this brush down when I first got it. I actually have two of these because I like it so much. This brush blends out product really fast and really effortlessly. Like you just have to kind of use it to experience what I'm talking about. But this is one of my favorite makeup brushes ever for uh, complexion products. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of the shade Amber and I'm also gonna use this directly under the eye. Now normally if I'm doing like a full glam look, I would use some color corrector under the eye, but I'm gonna forego that for today. But I'm using a little bit of this color first just because I do wanna mix in another lighter shade just to lighten the under eye area a little bit. So this is the shade Suede. This is the one that I use to mix in under the eye. And then I'm also gonna take a little bit more of this to also highlight the rest of the center of my face. And I'm just gonna let the under eye concealer kind of sit for a little bit and then blend out everywhere else. And as you can see, you see how the concealer, well, it's you know the same product, but you see how it's just blending out really fast on top of the first layer. This brush, I can't, I'm telling y'all, this brush will just like blend your stuff out super fast. And I'm actually gonna take my finger to blend under the eye. And then I'm gonna go back with that brush just to try and clean it up a little bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing that I did on my cheeks. I'm gonna go on the under eye area with one more layer of product just to build it up just a little bit. We are going for that minimal look, but you know, I like to have a good amount of coverage on the under eye area, so. I'm gonna take the foundation brush again and I'm just gonna lightly pat on top of the under eye area just to flatten and smooth everything out. And then I'm also gonna take this residual product and I'm also gonna hit my eyelids just to bland them out just a little bit. 
So I just put on a little bit of setting powder just under the eye. So Merit doesn't have a setting powder just yet, but I'm pretty sure there is one in the works. So we'll be on the lookout for that. So now let's get into the new bronzer bombs. So they sent me three shades to try out and I'm going to see if I can incorporate all three of the shades in my look for today. So let's start off with some swatches. I'm going to try to go from lightest to deep. And let me show you what the packaging looks like. Merit always has like this really sleek, like just chic looking packaging. Oh, these are some pretty colors. Okay, so we're going to start off with the lightest one that I have. I believe this is pronounced Sane. So these bronzers are meant to give you like a sheer wash of a bronzy glow. So that first one is called Sane. And this next one is called Leo. I feel like Leo is probably going to be like my everyday bronzer shade. Let me see if I can build it up a little bit. They're they're sheer. They're meant to be sheer. But let me see if I can go back and build the first one up too. Yeah, I really like that color Leo in the middle. And then the deepest one that I have is Monarch. So this comes in five different shades. Oh, this one is really deep. So I'm definitely curious to see how this one looks after I blend it out because like I said, they're meant to give you sheer coverages. So I'm going to see if I can use all three of these today, but I feel like I like this one in the middle the best. I'm going to start off with my favorite one, Leo. I'm just going to start with applying this one right on the side of... The cheekbone here so normally I would put on my blush first and then my bronzer but I want to do just the bronzer just so that we can see what that really looks like okay I had to go get my other merit brush so I'm gonna use this one to blend out um, this bronzer here just because I really want to keep using this brush and the other one has foundation on it so this one is a really good shade for me. And as you can see, it's kind of like you really don't have to blend it too much to get it to kind of diffuse into your complexion, into your foundation. So that's a really good shade. So let me put some on the other side and then I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use the deeper shade up here just so that we can really see what it looks like. I don't know. I feel like I can even go on top of this with the deeper shade but I just felt like we could really see the deeper shade like better on the forehead. Maybe I should have did half and half. Just thinking about that, sorry. <laughs> okay, so that's what the shade Leo looks like on the cheeks. I do really like that. I like how it blends out, but that's like a common theme with Merit products, I think. I think they all kind of blend out really nicely. This one I may have to work a little bit harder to get it to blend out because it's deeper. So this is the deepest shade. That's uh, this one here. So I'm just going to start off with just that much around the perimeter of the forehead. And you see how quickly that just blended right in. I do wish I had done one shade on one side and the other shade on the other side because I feel like since these are so sheer, I could have gotten away with that deeper shade all on one side of the face. But I like how that blended out. And I feel like with it being so dark, because it's so sheer, I can also build it up if I want. So let's just go on top of that with another layer just so that we can really see what the color looks like. So what do you all think? This one has like to me in the in the tube it looks really brown but I feel like it is blending out with like a really nice reddish maybe like burgundy undertone to it. So I do really like that. I'm gonna take a little bit more of the shade Leo and I usually like to apply bronzer right along my jawline as well. And I'm just using the same brush just to blend it out. And then I'm gonna go back to the foundation brush just to clean everything up. I'm gonna pick up the lighter shade. This one is the shade Sane, I believe it's pronounced. I'm picking some of this up on a smaller brush. I am picking up a good amount because it's so sheer. And I'm gonna use this one to add some dimension to the center of my face on my nose. Now I'm going to go back to the brush that I use to blend out my foundation and I'm just going to kind of blend everything in together. So I'm just softening out the bronzer on the nose, but I'm also going to blend around the perimeter 
of the bronzer on the cheeks and also on the forehead just to further blend everything out. So, so far I do really like those bronzers. I do think that they would be really good for wintertime bronzers for those of us who still like to have a nice subtle glow on the face but not quite as strong of a bronzer in the winter months compared to in the summer months and I definitely think this one is going to be my favorite the shade Leo. So those are all of the products in the base set from Merit but I am going to use a couple more products to incorporate Incorporate into today's look. So I'm going to use their one of their blushes. These are called the Flush Bomb Cream Blushes and this one is my favorite. I have a couple of these and this one is the shade Beverly Hills. It's like a pe uh, pinky peach shade and I really like this packaging because I feel like you can just hold it and just kind of like dab it on your cheek. So I'm just using this just to give myself just a little bit of flush of color on the cheeks and then same thing with the bronzer same thing with their complexion sticks everything is meant to be like very minimal so it's just going to give us like a wash of color and I'm just lightly patting over that with my foundation brush let me know if you guys can make it out on camera like I can see it in my mirror but it is meant to be minimal and I'm trying not to let it blend in with the bronzer too much so that the so that the um, blush color can like really stand out I am actually going to go back into the deepest bronzer shade. This is Monarch and I'm going to use a little bit of this just to add some dimension to the eyes. I'm not going to pick up a whole lot of this because it is a bomb and my eyelids, they do tend to get oily, but I just want to put just a little bit on the lids, the outer part of the lid. And this will just give me just a little dimension in this area. And then I'm going to take one of their highlighting bombs. So I don't usually wear highlighter on a regular basis, but this is actually one of my favorite highlighters. Not this color. This is going to be my first time using this color, but I have another shade in this highlighter and I just love how this just glides right onto your skin. So I'm just going to put just a little bit right on the high points of the cheek and it's just going to kind of like enhance that natural glow where the light is already hitting your face and then I'm just going to very lightly blend this out. I'm blending this out with another brush just so that it doesn't get covered up with my residual foundation. Let's put some down the center of the nose just a little bit and let's just build it up just a little bit so that we can really see it and maybe just a little bit on the arches of the brow. So this is like a really like nice champagne gold color, but I think this is a really nice highlighter shade for this time of year for the fall. Okay, so I just went ahead and lightly set everything in place with some powder because I do have oily skin and we used a lot of creamy and balm products. So like I said, Merit doesn't have a um, setting powder just yet, so I just put a light veil of powder on the skin. I'm going to go back into the highlighting balm. I'm picking up a little bit with a small eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to put just a tiny bit of this in the inner corners just to give myself a little bit of a highlight right there. And next I'm going to be using the Merit Beauty Clean Lash Lengthening Mascara. If you're looking for something that will give you a really nice everyday mascara look, this is it. This is kind of like a your lashes but better type of mascara. It will give you some length. It'll give you some extra color, some extra dimension on your lashes, but it still looks like your lashes. So it goes on really nicely and it washes off really easily too, but this isn't meant to be like some dramatic mascara. I mean it really just enhances your natural lashes. So now we're going to finish everything off with some lips. So Merit has one of my favorite lip oils and they have one of my favorite lipsticks. But today we're going to be using one of the oils. So this is the shade Slick Tinted Lip Oil in the shade Sangria. And this is a really nice deep like burgundy red color. And these oils feel so comfortable on the lips and they keep them nice and hydrated for a really long time. So even though this is meant to give you, again, just like a wash of color, it still looks nice and minimal. 
and they feel really buttery. One of the main ingredients in here is shea butter and it feels like really buttery when you uh, rub your lips together. Okay, y'all, here is the finished look for today. So again, all of the products that I use as well as my affiliate link is gonna be listed in the description box below. I hope that y'all like the way that the look came out and thank you again to Merit Beauty for sponsoring today's video. If y'all like this video today, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel before you head out and I will see y'all back here for my next one. Until then, take care. Have a good one, y'all. Bye.